Yes, good morning, students. So yesterday we finished the hundred dresses part one, and uh, that part one finished with uh, Wanda winning the prize in the contest of painting painting. So she had been able to win the painting competition, thereby uh, making hundred paintings, and uh, she got the prize. The main thing to be, you know, remembered was like she won the prize because all her paintings were outstanding. Each painting was of some worth. Okay. So did she won the prize? Did she win the prize because she had made 100 paintings? No. She won the prize because her all paintings were outstanding. All paintings were very glowing. They were very vivacious and colorful, right? So she had won the competition, but was she there? She had not turned up yet. And now the story, the second part of this 100 dresses will start off with like where Wanda is. Will she come to the class? What do you think? Will she come to class? So why do you think so? Huh? Because you have read the story. Okay. So because you have read the story, that's why you're telling me. So let's see whether she comes up or not. Okay. If she comes, how will she feel? Suppose she comes and uh, she, when she comes to know that she has got uh, the prize, of course, she'll be very happy. How will the girls react? How will Peggy and Maddie react? What will be, how will Paddy and Maggie, Peggy and Maddie, uh, you know, receive her as a, as a winner of the competition? Okay, do you think she was, they will stop making fun of her? Do you think she, they will stop making fun of her? No? Why, why do you think so? Okay, uh, so she says that because Peggy wanted to win and uh, not only Peggy, even her friends are thought that she might win. And these girls, those who were used to make fun of that Wanda. And today when they would see that uh, poor girl winning such grand competition, do you think they will be able to welcome her as a winner? We don't think so. Because instantly they won't change for the winner. They would rather become more. They would rather become more. Yes. They would rather make more fun of her. Because what is human nature? Human nature is that when we find somebody, when we find a poor person doing better, then we become all the more jealous. We are able to accept the, uh, you know, influential people doing better. When some influential person is able to do good, we accept it very, very normally. That is norm of the society. But when a poor person comes up, we have hundred reasons to criticize that person. So if Wanda had turned up now, if Wanda would come now as a winner, then these girls might not be able to appreciate or accept her as a winner. Right? Or maybe, maybe, maybe Maddie might have because she was also poor like her. Okay? But now the story has got a turn, change. Twist is there in the story. What's that twist? Wanda will not come. And the news will come that she had left the school and the place because of the people's attitude, because of people's discriminatory attitude. Father would send a letter to the teacher in which he would state that they are leaving the city, this place, because they are going to shift to a bigger city. In the bigger city, People don't mind who one is. 
what one is okay there no one minds one's uh, identity and all so they were they would be shifting to the bigger city right uh, do you think it's right do you think it's a, it's a true that in bigger cities people don't mind what one is is it true yes it is true if you go to the metros what will happen people are very busy they don't even know like who lives next door okay the kinds of system which we people have got in our state in our punjab okay we people not only know our neighbors we even know like what's happening in their house okay we might not like know what exactly is happening in our house people know very exactly like what's happening in their house okay so like yeah there are some drawbacks of this kind of system but still there is some there is some link you know link is there there is some sort of you can say give and take and that is required for a happy living right so so the father of wanda will announce to the letter that they were shifting to the bigger city because there no one would be making fun of their names or them got it so after that letter do you think the girls will realize their mistake yes so when they would come to know like why wanda had left the place then they would realize their mistake and especially peggy why will she realize her mistake because she never realized that uh, wanda was minding it peggy always thought that she didn't even come to know that uh, they were making fun of her but does it happen if you make fun of somebody does it happen that the other person is not able to make out that you are making fun of him or her no it doesn't happen even if you are making fun of a two year kid in french language even then the kid will come to know that you are making fun of him because when you mock at somebody the vibrations travel if you say something good to your gestures even then the other person comes to know same is about the same is about the other things so these girls will realize their mistake and they will try to make amends for it so these girls will go to the house of amanda uh, of wanda and there they will try to find her out and do you think they will be able to spot her so in the first part let's see whether they are able to find her out or not if not then what will they decide will some change come to them or not yes it is human nature that we realize our mistake when 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 the things are out of our control so far the things are within our control we don't mind it we feel that everything is okay but when things go out of control then only we realize our mistake before the second wave everything was fine getting what i'm talking about before second wave of covid came everything was very normal the way nowadays it is remember what people did then then second wave came afterwards things again became normal and now what people are doing same what they were doing then so people don't people don't bother doesn't mean that we must stop working we must we have to work okay the way other places are working the schools and all educational institutes must also open but what is happening people might not send their kids to school but people might not mind going to hilly areas and there the traffic jams are there landslides are going on but they must go there but they must not come to school right as you are na so what we are talking about human nature so the hundred dresses part 2 
While the class was circling the room, the monitor from the principal's office brought Miss Mason a note. Miss Mason read it several times and studied it thoughtfully for a while. Then she clapped her hands. Attention, class. Everyone back to their seat. When the shuffling of feet had stopped and the room was still and quiet, Miss Mason said, I have a letter from Wanda's father that I want to read to you. Yes. What was the instruction given by the teacher to the students? To come back to the seats or to settle down. So when all the students had settled down, then she started reading out the letter. Then she started telling the class that she had got a letter from Wanda's father. Right? You. Miss Mason stood there a moment and the silence in the room grew tense and expectant. The teacher adjusted her glasses slowly and deliberately. Her manner indicated that what was coming, this letter from Wanda's father, was a matter of great importance. Everybody listened closely as Miss Mason read the brief note. Dear teacher. Your book. Look at the book. Look at, you can look at your own books and the students here, they are looking at the either screen or they might also have their books. So when the reading goes on, look at the book. Where's the book? I'll talk to you later on. What's your name? Hmm? Saksham. So are you getting this accent? Is, is it okay? Teacher. My wonder will not come to your school anymore. Jake also. Now we move away to big city. City. No more Hola, Paul Lake. No more ask why funny name. Plenty of funny names in the big city. Yours truly, Jan Petronsky a deep. Okay, so it was Jan Petronsky, the father of Wanda. And he had stated in the letter very carefully that they are moving to bigger city because here they were made fun of. He even talked about uh, uh, Wanda's brother. What was his name? Jake. So both of them, the whole family was shifting to the bigger city because here people made fun of them. They made fun of their bigger names or the unfamiliar names. Right? So what do you think is the reason for their unfamiliar name? Yes, because they are not the same natives. Okay, when somebody uh, in Punjab, we get familiar names. You know, we all names are familiar. But if some uh, Abraham Dowsey comes here, we'll be little, you know, we want to like, we'll have a little feel, different feeling for that name first. And when the name person would come that, yes, he might look a little different also. Okay, but doesn't mean that we must have that strange attitude for that person always. We being civilized, we will accept everybody and we accept. And maybe those kinds of feelings would not come here because it is still a bigger city. It's a city, big city. Got it? Because we are used to the big uh, open culture. When we go to the malls or restaurants, then we come across many different kinds of people. And we welcome them. We don't mind. We don't even look at them like who they are. Isn't it? So here we are talking about like here Wanda's father made it very clear as to why were they leaving that place. Deep silence met the reading of this letter. Miss Mason took off her glasses, blew on them and wiped them on her soft white handkerchief. Then she put them on again and looked at the class. When she spoke, her voice was very low. I am sure that none of the boys and girls in room 13 would purposely and deliberately hurt anyone's feelings because his or her name happened to be a long, unfamiliar one. 74. First flight. To think that what was said was said in thoughtlessness. I know that all of you feel the way I do, that this is a very unfortunate thing to have happened unfortunate and sad, both. And I want you all to think about it. 
the first okay the teacher announced that it was a very unfortunate and sad thing which had happened what was the unfortunate and sad thing which had happened you tell saksham what was the unfortunate and sad thing which had happened hmm come on yes himanshu you tell what was the sad and unfortunate thing the sad and unfortunate thing that had happened was was that wanda was that wanda had left this place that wanda had left the school as well as that place because she had been made fun of it was unfortunate now the question is why was it unfortunate why was it unfortunate yes why was it unfortunate here also online you can raise hand those who know the answer yes raise hand if you know the answer why was it unfortunate that wanda had left the place what was unfortunate about it yes anyone you can raise hand or not yeah the message option was crossed out yes whenever a talented child or a person leaves a play country school institute that is unfortunate it's always unfortunate okay a talented intellectual or some great person should not leave an institute or a, or city or country that is why whenever you uh, you come across whenever the country comes to know that we have got a great sportsman or a great personality or a scientist or whatever the country acknowledges the contribution of that person and gives him title or award reward isn't it that is in recognition of that person's talent okay but if the person leaves the country that is very unfortunate unfortunate as well as sad so it was unfortunate and sad because the school will become poor in the absence of such talented child talented children are the wealth of the school do you know this do you know if good children will say like ma'am we are leaving the school the school will never be happy right so try to be the wealth of the school right okay first period was a study period madi tried to prepare her lessons but she could not put her mind on her work she had a very sick feeling in the bottom of her stomach true she had not enjoyed listening to peggy ask wanda how many dresses she had in her closet but she had said nothing she had stood by silently and that was just as bad as what peggy had done was she was a covered at least peggy hadn't considered they were being mean but she maddy had thought they were doing roin she could put herself in wanda's shoes so what do you mean by she could put herself in wanda's shoes yes she was able to experience the same feeling what wanda might have felt so to to put yourself in somebody's shoes means to feel the pain of somebody else when you put yourself in somebody's shoes it means that you have the quality to of dash which quality you have then when you are able to put yourself in the shoes of somebody else this is a quality of being dash 
I'm giving you options, sympathy, empathy. What will come? Sympathy or empathy. Okay, now let me tell you the meaning. Sympathy is when you give somebody what one wants. Supposing a very poor person comes here, very he's very hungry. We give him food. We give him money. This is sympathy. Empathy is when some poor person comes, he's very hungry. We, we try to feel like how it is when you are very hungry. You also don't eat anything for 10 hours. And you try to feel the pain of hunger. You try to feel the pain of poverty. And then you decide what is to be done. Right? Got it? So empathy is when you try to put when you put yourself in the shoes of somebody else. Sympathy is simply giving something. So what we should be, sympathetic or empathetic? Empathetic. Empathy is more virtuous. Empathy is more human quality than sympathy. Even a criminal can be sympathetic. Okay? Even a criminal can be sympathetic. But only a virtuous person will be empathetic. And and if, if you want to be sympathetic, you need to have something with you. But you can be empathetic even when you don't have anything with you. Okay, empathy is more important than sympathy. Yeah, it depends like what the situation is. Right? And sometimes you can be both sympathetic and empathetic at the same time. You might have seen sometimes what happens. Sometimes uh, somebody goes with uh, a little charity for somebody. They don't forget to carry the cameraman with them. Is that sympathy? That is show off. If you're going to help somebody, why to do it openly? Let it be done secretly. Isn't it? Why to carry the cameraman with you? Okay. So when you do this, then you are degrading the other person. You are becoming great, but the person who is getting the help is being humiliated. And that is not sympathy. Okay? Shoes. Goodness. Wasn't there anything she could do? If only she could tell Wanda she hadn't meant to hurt her feelings. Feelings. She turned around and stole a glance at Peggy, but Peggy did not look up. She seemed to be studying hard. Well, whether Peggy felt badly or not, she, Maddie, had to do something. She had... Okay, so Maddie was sorry for what had happened with Wanda. Then she decided that she would help, what she could do to help uh, Wanda. She looked at Peggy... At that time, Peggy was studying hard. She realized that Peggy was least bothered about what had happened with Wanda. Got it? So did Peggy show that she was hurt or she was disturbed at the news of Wanda? So far, we think that Peggy was not at all disturbed. Right? had to find Wanda Petronsky. Maybe she had not yet moved away. Maybe Peggy would climb the heights with her, and they would tell Wanda she had won the contest, that they thought she was smart and the hundred dresses were beautiful. Okay, so Peggy, uh, Maddie is making a decision that she will take Peggy and will visit the house of Wanda. And then there they may be able to they may they will be able to uh, request her to come back right oral comprehension seventy five the hundred dresses knee when school was dismissed in the afternoon peggy said with pretended casualness hey Let's go and see if that kid has left town or not. Okay. 
in the previous paragraph we read out that uh, peggy was not concerned about wanda's news she showed little concern and when the school was over she very casually she pretended as if she was very casual and she just said like now let's go and see whether see uh, whether that kid has left the town or not so what do you think was she really speaking all this casually no she was actually serious about it so she wanted to visit wanda's house and wanted to see if she had left or not if she had not left she would be requesting her not to leave right not so peggy had had the same idea madi glowed peg was really all right the two girls hurried out of the building up the street toward bogins heights the part of town that wore such a forbidding air on this kind of a november afternoon drizzly damp and dismal well at least said peggy gruffly i never did call her a foreigner or make fun of her name i never thought she had the sense to know we were making fun of her anyway i thought she was too dumb and ji look how she can draw okay so when they were going up to the bogens heights then the environment was very damp drizzly or dismal dismal is sad drizzly means wet the way it is now so when they were going up they were the, the atmosphere was somewhat like sad so on the way peggy said something which is very important for us to know she said like she never realized that wanda minded when she was making fun of her what does it mean ha huh. and she even calls her dumb she said that i thought she was too dumb to understand what we were doing the irony is peggy is dumb she never understood that she was understanding everything wanda was able to hide her feelings but peggy was not able to hide her. peggy was not able to think what she was feeling she thought she was dumb but no one is dumb mind it no one is too dumb to understand the insult mind it i told you just a few minutes before like even a small child understands it okay it's very important how much that how we treat others okay draw madi could say nothing all she hoped was that they would find wanda she wanted to tell her that they were sorry they had picked on her and how wonderful the whole school thought she was and please not to move move away and everybody would be nice she and peggy would fight anybody who was not nice okay these are the feelings of madi but she was determined now she was determined that if they would meet wanda they will promise never to make fun of her and even they would promise her that they would not let anyone make fun of her got it nice the two girls hurried on they hoped to get to the top of the hill before dark i think that's where the petronskis live said madi madi pointing to a little white house wisps of old grass stuck up here and there along the pathway like thin kittens the house and its sparse little yard looked shabby but clean it reminded madi of wanda's one dress her faded blue cotton dress shabby but clean so when they were going up the place to reach wanda's house the place was you know interspersed with dry green grass so that made the place look a little shabby but it was clean this reminded which girl this reminded madi this reminded madi about uh, blue dress of wanda which was which was faded but clean right clean there was not a sign of life about the about the house 
Peggy knocked firmly on the door, but there was no answer. She and Maddie went around to the backyard and knocked there. Still there was no answer. So when they reached the, near the house, they were able to make out like nobody was there. Because when you uh, are near a house, there is a sign of life. No, there was no sign of life all around the house. Still they knocked at the door, but no one opened the door. Nobody was there. What it? 76. First flight. There was no doubt about it. The Petronskis were gone. How could they ever make amends? They turned slowly and made their way back down the hill. Okay, so they were, Petronskis had already left. Then how will they make amends for it? What do you mean by to make amends for? Yeah. When you want to say sorry for having done something wrong, it means that you are making amends for something you have done earlier. Or in other words, you say to compensate for something which you have done earlier. Okay. So now the girls thought like, how will they make amends for what they had done earlier? Because the Petronskis had left the place. Right? Hill. Well, anyway, said Peggy, she's gone now, so what can we do? Besides, when I was asking her about all her dresses, she probably was getting good ideas for her drawings. She might not even have won the contest, otherwise. Okay, so now Peggy. What Peggy thought now? So the people, those who are... Uh, those who always keep on giving the importance to themselves, they do this thing also. Now, because already Peggy was feeling uh, a little hurt, or uh, you can say, Peggy felt that she had done something wrong to her. But when she saw that Petronskis had left, now there was no way out for her to contact her and all. So she said, Ki, okay, if I had been making fun of her, if I had been asking her about dresses that's why she was able to think about a new dress of new design for the dress so whenever she asked her about the dress that gave Wanda a new idea about new dress and that's why she has won the competition so now what is Peggy doing Peggy is taking the credit of Wanda's winning competition to herself she is taking the credit, credit that it is because of her questions that she has won the prize. Very smart, isn't it? Okay, then Maddie. Otherwise, Maddie turned this idea carefully over in her head, for if there were anything in it, she would not have to feel so badly. But that night she could not get to sleep. Okay. So Maddie also accepted the idea. Ki, yeah. to hai. That if she has won the prize, that is because of our question. Because this made her have a little relief. Why did Maddie accept this idea? Because she was she was able to make become a little relaxed with this. Okay. 